I met with young Australia in the pasta aisle downtown and she eyed me with suspicion and a rather puzzled frown. I said, I know my former spotty in the referendum stakes. I try to vote the voice of reason and get taken in by fakes. But I have a good intention. Surely that's still worth a mention. I don't like causing tension. Hard enough on the damn pension. They say we've had things easy and excelled, but much of our ambition is now quelled. We drank our early water from depression's jars and saw our fathers and our brothers go to foreign wars. We were the children of Curtin, Chifley, Menzies. We grew up with all the Cold War frenzies. But as every generation will uphold, we never believed that we'd be old. The lovely girls and boys now blunted and near maimed and vanished is the strength and shine once claimed. And now the last test, the Australia that we leave. A good life, sister brother, we received. Though booms and slumps knocked us about quite bad, we're still right here and hardly very sad. Oh, young Australia wants to know why I'm talking in rhyme. Rhyme is used to sell toothpaste and razor blades. They say, give us the essence. Don't worry about the moon in June. Forget the poetry. All right, I'll give you the essence. But I need my notes. Okay. So here's the essence then. The humble idea the ancient Australians have put forward to us that to recognise the antiquity of their presence here, we consent to allow an Aboriginal body to be voted for by all Australian Aboriginals to advise not to command on the laws that affect them. They seek no lawmaking, they seek to give us advice that will enlighten lawmakers and work for all of us. It is as simple as it sounds. Why not just pass a law creating such a body in the Parliament now? Well, as soon as it became inconvenient for governments they would abolish it. To go on existing, to go on advising, it must, this body, be constitutional to survive. The chance to say yes to this proposal is the most historic vote of our lifetimes. That's why I'm making a dick out of myself with rhymes. I remember really noticing one day when I was three, an Aboriginal child who drifted past our gate on the way to town. He had ringworm on his arms and legs. He had patches of hair missing. His eye was a vicious glue pot and his ear not much better. He was going to town for Friday afternoon, but he was under the injunction of the law to be back in the blacks camp by dark. This in a country where the Mabo decision and the Wick decision would say that this child was more entitled to possession than I was and that this child had never ceded his sovereignty in the matter. That child is probably dead now. He probably succumbed to the unsatisfactory life statistics for Aboriginals as compared to the fortunate ones of white kids. But I am voting for that kid. I am voting for his grandchildren, for they have something to tell our parliament, and I want to authorise them to do so. So don't go saying no. No sour negatives will suit the case. No is a gate that's been locked for two and a half centuries. No is a barbed wire fence with nothing living either side. No is a do not enter sign when only entry will work. No is the sound of sneers and invasion's boots. Do not leave this earth with the no stain on our lips. Yes is the kindly river in an equal land. Yes is the close of fight and peace as planned. Vote yes and end the fatal wars of weapons and of laws. Vote yes and bless the field 
where seed is cast. Vote yes and mock the bullets of the past. Vote yes, old woman and old bloke. At last put out the fires the haters stoke. While many of the talk jocks tell you, wait, ask what there is to gain from their stale hate. They live of us versus them, not you and me, in equal status as the truly free. So we can vote no and get a little settler thrill, but then we'll be in the army of the dickhead and the dill and all will stay unmended still. Let us surprise the commentators. That's history at our ear. When we were first told of it, we saw nothing we should fear. But now your doubts, tooled by the schemers, depicted as some choice for total dreamers. These no votes are the friends of RoboDebt, masters of the universe, Ah, oh, you bet. You wouldn't trust them to repair your bike or utter curses through a random mic. Don't go writing, no. For you and I will then end up in the commonwealth of no with nothing but suspicion there to show. Let's leave the cruelty of the no and put in place a yes and watch the rivers flow. And young Australia... Take a bow, take a bow now.